Oh, hey, Just waiting for everybody to get in Saturday night. Just uh, Saturday evening. Been working all day. Story of my life. Has everybody else been working, doing anything today? I, I think there was good weather all across the United States or something. I don't know. It was really nice here. I got a uh, email from uh, Gary. And he had really good weather for up that way. I was surprised there was the opposite of snow, oddly. It was very warm here, too. I'll, I'll wait till Gary gets here. I don't want to waste my weather report without those that provide me a weather report, you know. <clears throat> but, man, what a nice day. I think, like I said, I think everybody had a pretty nice weather day it was real real windy here and i think uh with the uh summer solstice or whatever that you know getting later at night i think it uh people might still be outside enjoying their day cleaning up doing whatever they do i was cleaning up a lot i don't i just i did a lot of different things today and i can't wait to kind of talk to you guys about that and share that with you uh, I got some videos filmed that are a little bit different that I want to talk to you about again. I had an opportunity to do that two or three times in a row here. And uh, I don't know exactly how they'll be released if we try to mix them in or just, uh, you know, knock them out right in a row. But but that's something I want to talk to uh you guys that show up here regularly because you care, care enough to show up regularly. And uh, so I thought I'd get uh, your opinion on um, kind of releasing videos. Because there's a, supposedly there's a science to it. Uh, I don't know what that algorithm does because I've tried everything here and there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Things you think are going to work don't work. Things you think suck but you got to release it do blockbuster who knows i don't know i don't know i don't know hey paula paul how are you john does here john and Rhonda. we missed you last week we we're camping for the eclipse where were you at did you see i mean did you get like here where i was i was at work but we were able to go out and watch the whole thing so we didn't get totality um, but it did get dark, not dark, dark, but you know, we were in the shade and it, uh, I would guess it was 95% coverage. That's where we were. Um, what was it like? Where were you? And what was it like, uh, there, Jonda? Paula, I potted up my tomatoes, cucumbers and squash, 78 and sunny, not windy, man. You were living the life up there in Iowa. That's crazy. 78 degrees today. Man, what a great day. Yeah, you got to pot them up. Do you grow from a seed or um, do you get seedlings? Two different schools of thought there. I do it both ways when I get an opportunity. Depends what they are. Sometimes tomatoes, I want to buy seedlings um, because sometimes they're just tough to grow. It might just be me. Peppers, I grow from seeds. I'm good with the peppers, you know. John, uh, we had to talk to, oh, nice. It was great at West Branch Straight Park in Nebraska. Is that Nebraska? Oh, no, Northeast Ohio. Oh, whoa, oh, yeah, yeah, clear and sunny. My brother told me that uh, he was in um, Toledo, Ohio. They had totality. He said it was fan-freaking-tastic. He really loved it. Um, said that they, you know, they saw the ring of fire, the diamond ring, the, you know, got super dark. Uh, he was out there with his lady friend and, uh, you know, a, a group of 
people, friends, and uh, just kind of chit chatting and enjoying it. And said it was just fantastic. Thought that uh, he couldn't wait to do it again. Paul, Paul, you plant the seeds. You have luck with the tomatoes. Okay. You have to get your uh, recipe, I think, maybe. Very cool. Got dark and really chill. You know, that was the thing. Of course, you're up north, so it was colder anyway. But um, I went out about every seven, eight minutes. Uh, just had some other things I had to, to do. But when it got over halfway, you walk out and it was like, Okay, there's a, there's a little chill in the air. So it was a definite temperature change. And obviously, it looked, it, for us, it was like we were in the shade. You know, like a storm was rolling in. So it didn't get dark, dark. But, um, yeah, it was it was very cool. Marsha, Marsha Kirk, you have a very cool truck, Marsha. Hi, Rob. Marsha from the metro area of Portland. I've been to Portland, Oregon. How is it there now? Is it is it okay? I was there before. I mean, there were. I, I don't don't get mad at me because I say this because this is what they call them dirtbaggers there. Um, there was some, and uh, so it was no big deal. But I understand that sometimes there there was like a home a lot of homeless there. But yeah, but I was there before that. Um, beautiful country. Uh, went up in some of your mountains. Stayed over there on the coast. Really, I did like Portland, Oregon. Is how is it there? How is it where you are? Is it still beautiful? Are you struggling? Because uh, I haven't been there, so I don't know. I just know what I see on the news sometimes. So um, it's just beautiful country up there. High sixties, overcast, little wind. Wow, high sixties over there is nice. Which side of the mountains are you on? Are you on the west side or are you on the east side of the mountains there? Um, I know that makes a difference. Unfortunately, I'm working, but talking time to taking time to watch. Yeah, I appreciate that, Marcia. You got? Do you have a camper? Can you tell me what your camper's all about and what your? Hey, fill me in. Fill me in. I am intrigued with this Portland issue. Shiloh, how are you, Shiloh? Good to see you. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Um, man. Yeah, that uh, that eclipse kind of took over the country, didn't it? I mean, uh, my wife over in the Philippines has never seen an eclipse, and they think, "What? Did, wait, let me." They, okay, so their you know their culture is similar to um, the Native Americans, and uh, so they have like uh, deep cultural thoughts about that. And in their culture, a crocodile, maybe she'll get on here and correct me if I'm wrong, but a crocodile came and eats the sun. And I think they bang on, you know, pots and pans and things to make the crocodile release, I think is what she told me. So um, very superstitious about the eclipse over there, uh, Southeast Asia. So that was that was very interesting for me. So she was she was legit concerned that I was okay during the eclipse. But that's that's how things are there. It's it's different there. It's very different there. Ross had to run some errands. He's got some things he's got to do. Um, Russ did. Uh, I don't know if he wants me to tell. I'm going to tell him anyway. Russ got a truck uh, yesterday. Sweet truck, sweet truck. Um, so he's going to get over here in a little bit, and uh, I can't wait to see it. I'm a truck guy, you know. I'm a truck guy, and he's been threatening to get one for a long time. So I'm kind of, kind of excited to see his truck. See if I can borrow it and haul some plywood. He's always borrowing my truck. <laughs> I don't think he's going to let me borrow his because I have a truck. Because I have a truck. <laughs> Yeah, um, I was, I did the absolute final things that I could do on that Scotty today. I, uh, Chris Abbey came over and put the um, rock guard on. It's beautiful. 
Oh man, it's beautiful. He just does such great work. He he just puts the time in. He's meticulous. He's one of those guys, you know, where maybe somebody like me or you would go, okay, we got it done. He's like, mm, let me, you know, he's that guy. And, it's, and it shows, it shows he's a craftsman. And uh, so pretty cool. Got that done today. And uh, I just had a couple of odds and ends to clean out that I've been putting off because I know I've got the time. She's coming in next Saturday to pick it up. So I just in a hurry and I've been cleaning out the shop and uh, videoing some things. So got some videos done. I did a lot of cleaning, kind of videoed some for you guys. Marsha, more than dirt bags. <laughs> okay. All right. We're on the same page. I'm west side towards. Okay. So you get more of the rain because it stops at the mountains sometimes. Little town of Banks. Banks. 58 siesta. I don't know what that is. 58 siesta, 14 footer, but 14 footer. I am intrigued. I'm slowly pulling nine in to pull behind my 72 Chevy C20 Longhorn. Yeah, I can see that. I can see your 72 Chevy. That's cool. It's very cool. I like the orange. A lot of people won't go orange. A lot of people are afraid of the orange. I think uh, what I see in your picture, I really like that orange. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. I like that. I wish I knew what a 58 CS is. I don't have to look that up. Lots of different kinds of campers to think about, like that comment that I just started tearing down. Like I said, I started tearing that comment down today. And uh, I, I'm not going full bore on it right now. I'm just nickel and dime in it, just kind of piecemealing it. I will spend all day tomorrow on it, maybe six hours. I'd like to get it torn down. And then after um, Tanya comes and picks up her Scotty next Saturday, then it's full time on the Comet. Right now, just I'm enjoying a little bit of relaxation, doing this, doing that, messing around inside. Um, we got a couple of um, collaborations where people sent us their products. They're both pretty cool, but one's really cool. You won't see it for a couple of weeks. I, think, I don't know what's coming up next week. Is that one maybe coming up in the next week or two, and then another week or two after that? But uh, it was pretty cool. Liked it. Liked it. Hey, Rob, watching show. There's Men Velas. So, if you just got on here, remind me that during the eclipse, the crocodile eats the sun and then everybody bangs on pots and pans or something like that to make him let go. Is that right? Is that what you told me? I thought that's what you told me. We're going to find out what happens in the Philippines during a solar eclipse. Like I said, is that a lunar eclipse? No, that's a solar eclipse. Lunar eclipse. I don't know. Which was it? Because they're different, aren't they? they? Eclipse the moon or eclipse the sun? We eclipsed the sun, didn't we? Oh, wait a minute. That's how you know I'm a good husband. I paid attention to what my wife said. <laughs> uh, I told them that you were genuinely uh worried for me during the eclipse that something bad might happen but i su i suffered through i made it i persevered that's news from around the world <laughs> um it is so windy here let me look real quick. It was gust to 30 earlier. Let me see if it's what it's still doing. Is that it's gust to 32 now? I mean, I just can't take the skin off because it's gonna flip and fly everywhere. Can't do it. Can't do it. I don't know. I, I hate when that wind's that strong. But I needed to stop when I stopped. I stopped about oh 
four o'clock. So that gave me enough time to eat and come in and hang out. Manvelo says, in the Philippines, you should not go out during the eclipse. It's bad luck. They have a lot of superstitions that um, regard luck. And that's one of them. That's it. Gary, you're late. I've been talking about you already. Finally got to work on the camper. Got up 64 degrees. Gary sent me a picture. Uh, he built a floor on uh, his camper. And it looks really nice. Really, it does really good work. But I would, too, if it was 64 degrees in Maine. I'd be doing good work, too. <laughs> uh, and at least he didn't send me pictures of him out in his Speedo just enjoying the sun. Send me pictures of his camper. I appreciate that, Gary. <laughs> but, yeah, it's cool. It's going to be good. You, you, I mean, that's, uh, you know. The floor is the foundation, and and uh, I, I like what you're doing. I'm sure you like it in 64. So it was uh, 80, what did I say, 80, 84 today here? I was waiting to tell you, 86 today, 86, windy, so that sucked. But I stayed in the shop most of the time at World Headquarters, so it wasn't so bad. but. Um, 86 and windy. Sun was out. I, I'm afraid I'm going to be burnt tomorrow because I spent three hours pulling all the windows and the door frame and things like that off of the comet. Just directly out. I keep thinking Russ might pull up in his truck. I don't want to miss it. Uh, so I'm afraid I might, uh, I might be red tomorrow when I get back out there and start turning it. Yes, yeah, it is suntan weather, Gary. I'm a, I hope I didn't make a mistake with that three hours out there. <laughs> it, it wasn't very cloudy at all today, and uh, it was beautiful. It really was. I enjoyed it. Even I wish the wind wasn't there, but um, I'll take it. I'll take the warmth um, other than having to start a fire every night. I got, who did I get up? Somebody sent me some pictures. Well, I mean, a few people sent me pictures, but I think it was Steve. Yeah, yeah. This dude, I wish Russ was here and he could put these pictures up. This guy's been working on this camper. He calls it the turd. He was on here once before talk to us a little bit but he's about got it finished and he sent me high tech uh some pictures and it is interesting um not something i would ever do but i appreciate it because it's not something i would ever do i i am so boxed in on what i'll do and what i won't do that i couldn't even imagine being as creative as uh, he was. And I, I just think that's pretty cool. That when people can take things that they have, things that mean something to them, things that are important to them, and incorporate it into their camper. Uh, or even things to save money. I think that's so cool. I haven't, I haven't lost that shame yet. I don't know. It's not shame. That's just a, that's a term I use in another profession I used to work in where if you can just drop ego would be better. If you could just drop your ego, you could do different things. I'm not there yet. I mean, I paint. I hate painting, but I paint way more than I want to. Sometimes I even pretend I like it, which is a lie.
Hey, um, I'm back. Can you see me? <laughs> the power went out. I mean, it just burped for a second and the power went out. Can you see me? I hope you can see me. If you stuck around, wow. You guys are great. Wow. Let me know if you can. Uh, I hope you can see me right now. It looks, according to what it says here, uh, you can see me. Marsha Banks, yes, and snow off the coast range. Hugger Orange, like the 71 my dad had back in the day. 14 foot is the inside dimension. I think that's not a bad size. 14. 14 inside means that's a 16 or 17 foot travel trailer. Hope everybody can see me. Daughter and grandson, Gary says, coming tomorrow to help set the floor on the frame. Yeah, that takes some help. That's a pretty big frame. How long is that? Um, not frame, but uh, floor. How long is that, Gary? Because that looks like it's 15, 16 feet. That's, I mean, that's a pretty big camper. Is it ego or are you a custom, custom or comfortable doing? I think it's a little bit of both, Paula Paul. If I had to sit there and self-assess myself, uh, I'm comfortable doing what I like to do. But sometimes my ego says, I can't do this or I can't do that. And that's not easy for me to overcome. So thank you for psychoanalyzing me. Um, I know my shortcomings. I do. I do. I see. Okay, great, great. We're back. Thank you, Paula. Marsha says, hey, we're back. We're back. Dog Patch, I see you, but what happened? Hey, wait, wait. Dog Patch, I, I'm going to confess right now. I was tearing down that comment today. And there is a first video of the comment, the second video of the comment talked about you. You're just going to have to tune in and see what it is. Comment number two. See what I said. <laughs> Dog Patch could care less. He's like, I got, I got campers to build. You see me, I'm building hot rods. 90 by 132. Three. So 144 is 12 feet. That's not bad. Okay. It looked bigger in that picture. It's probably from the angle that you took it on, I think. So I think that's a good size. I mean, that's uh, that's two people sleeping on a 54 bed, 54 inch bed, pretty reasonably, I think, Gary. But 90 wide? Wait a minute. 90? 90 wide? What are you talking about? 90 wide? Let me get my calculator out here. 90 divided by 12, seven and a half feet. Okay. Okay. That is, man, I don't know if I've ever had a seven and a half foot camper that I've done. I've done seven. I think I've done an 80 before, but not 90. Wow. Hey, that's a, that's, that's uh, comfortable. Just trying to help as I cook my supper. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Paula. You know, sometimes we all need a little mental uh, mental health break, and you provided that for me. Now, you know, so great. Thank you, <laughs> uh, John. Uh, we've been working on the camper all day, headed to Edisto Island, South Carolina. Now, I've never heard of Edisto. I know we're hunting a beach state park with it on Saturday. That sounds pretty cool. I like South Carolina and North Carolina. I think they both have their pluses and minuses, but they mostly have a lot of pluses. Um, I like that you can be um, at the beach one day and at the mountains the next day, you know, camping, you know, without much travel. I like that about both of those. Um, I've been to South Carolina, but I've spent time in North Carolina, but I like them. Um, I really do. Our customer on this, uh, Scotty is coming from North Carolina. Yeah. Johnson County, North Carolina. Dog Patch. Oh, you're back now. I don't know what happened. Carry on. Ah, thank you, Dog Patch. Thank you. Thank you. How's, uh. 
Uh, I wouldn't mind. Hey, Dog Patch, can I can I ask you a couple of questions? Would you mind? Do you have time? Let me ask this, Dog Patch. Do you have time to jump on if I sent you a link to talk about? Uh, you had a shindig for the eclipse there. Would you mind sharing that with us if I sent you a link? Absolutely. Dog Patch says absolutely. Okay, cool, cool. Let me. All right. I'm going to put a post in a link for Dog Patch. All right, Dog Patch, jump on there when it when it shows up there, if you would, please. He had a had a little shindig going up there, and I I kind of watched when um he was posting things about it, it looked kind of cool to me anyway um it doesn't take a lot for me i'm i'm just a pretty normal dude to enjoy normal things looks like we're getting dog patch here he may have Maybe he lost power too. And getting him going. Dog Patch, you good? I hope it's not on my end because I can't fix anything because Russ isn't here. We'll see. Sometimes it takes a little it takes there's a sometimes there's a delay. Oh, I'll bet you we catch it on this one right here. Hmm. We might uh, get closer to the Wi-Fi. I don't know. Hmm. Well, anyway, while we wait on him on the dog patch, um, I, uh, oh, thought I saw, wait, wait a minute, what's this one? Okay, let me, let me take him off of this one. Let's see what happens here on this one. We're trying, we're trying, George. Oh, here we go, here we go. I think we're frozen on the frame, but we're getting closer. Looks like he's out there in the parking lot of the shop there. I think you forgot to... Uh, Why am I? Uh, never mind. Never mind. Is it on your end or my end, George? Can you even tell? Hmm. Well, anyway, while we wait for George, Curly got wore out today. He was out in the shop. I'm talking for six hours straight. He finally, he just went to the front door of the house and he's like, just let me in. You let me, and he's on the couch sleeping. I might be able to show you. Let me see. Where are we at? There he is. He's like, I've had all I want. Just leave me alone. And he just, he came in and he's just like, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Oh, can't show all of those all the time. We might lose our license. Just keep trying to load and drops off. Probably internet issues. All right. Keep trying if you don't mind. Gary, temperature going to be low 60s. Monday going to bolt it down and put the vinyl down. Yeah. That's that's always good. I'm telling you, when you get that done, it'll look deep. You're like, hey, time for walls. And you're getting on the road there. You know? So I, I'm with you on that, Gary. I'm, 
I thought that by the end of tomorrow, I might have the floor down on that comment, but I just don't feel like killing myself. So I think my goal tomorrow would be pretty close to tore down, if not all the way tore down on that comment. And then next week, absolutely would, uh, I'd be disappointed if I didn't have the floor down and I didn't have the walls put up, you know, maybe a little bracing. I went to Home Depot this morning to get my lumber. They did not have any um, Luan. They did not have the eighth inch Luan in stock. And I was working on a coupon. I had the 10% off coupon, but fortunately they sent me another one that's good until the 30th. So I don't need it until the 30th. So in the next couple of weeks, I can go get my Luan and all the other things because I, you know, you have to spend two ninety nine dollars or more. So I need Luan um, and I did not get the uh, vinyl. So I need to get the vinyl, which is a hundred bucks. The Luan, it's about, I think it's about 17, 18 bucks right now. And I'm going to need probably eight sheets. So I'm, I'm over 200, 220, 230, somewhere in there, I would think. Um, I have to find something else to fill in that 299 when I get there. I'm sure. Oh, I got to get a sink. I thought I had a sink. The Comet did not have a sink in it. So no sink. So that'll put me over my 299. Um, but I was surprised they did not have the Luan. But I'll get there without it. I mean, I have enough to keep me busy for the next week and a half. I mean, that's no question. So I'll sneak in there and spend that other. I use that other coupon and save that 10%. Like I spent 800 this morning. I take any books off. I mean, you can start saving the customer some money when you're doing that. So you, you take 80 bucks off. That's pretty good. Um. Yeah. Do you guys use Home Depot or do you guys, what, where do you get the majority of your lumber or things like that? Um, it's just convenient for me and they send me those coupons. Um, I'm supposed to be part of some rewards program, but I don't seem to be getting any rewards off of that. I'm going to have to talk when I go back in, get something. I don't know. But anyway, spent 800 bucks. And I'm sure I'll spend another five or six hundred just in those necessities before I even get the max aluminum um, for that. Yeah. Yep. Dog Patch is trying his best to get on here. I don't know what's going on with his. I think he's having having an issue with. Um, his internet. Hope he gets it sorted out. Lowe's or Home Depot. You know, they say that Lowe's is more for the DIY guy. Home Depot is more for the construction guy. Um, I'm, I'm kind of in between. It's just that I, I used to live within a mile of a Home Depot. So I know where everything is in a Home Depot. I go to Lowe's, I get confused. So I'm like, wait, shouldn't the paint be here? Well, no, because it's Lowe's. It's not Home Depot. So really, for me, that's the biggest difference between the two is I hardly ever go to Lowe's except for I go there to get my glass and my plexiglass uh, cut. They do a great job of that. It's not super expensive. But um, they do a good job there at Lowe's. And I, uh, whenever I get glass, flex glass cut, which seems to be every doggone job now, um, it's going to be on the, on the comment, too. Whew. You know. So, oh, let me see. George is talking to me. Problems on my end, connecting to the internet. Hey, George, if you can get on, get on when you can. I would just be sitting here for a little bit. I just thought that was interesting when I was there. Dawson, hey, I almost missed you. Hello, everybody. Yeah, Dawson. All right. 
Um, I didn't see you put out part nine yet. Unless I missed it. I hope not. you probably been. Has it been cold up there? Did you? Hey, let me try to think of where you're at. You probably didn't get any of that uh, eclipse action, did you, Dawson? Try to, I'm trying to visualize where you are in relation to this is the eclipse angle. You like that? The eclipse angle. Say, so, I don't know if you got much of it. Gary, lows is six miles. Home Depot is five minutes. Ah, okay. I'd be an HD guy. I don't know. I just like it there. I've, I've been there so much. Um, there's some longtime employees that are just always there and they know me and they know what I'm doing and they don't fuss with me and they're always looking out for me and helping me if I need this or that. So, you know, customer service means a lot to me. I should provide that to my customers now that I think about it. <laughs> Dawson's weather has been nasty. Oh, man, you, you came to the wrong place because we are enjoying it. Enjoying it. Gary was talking about being out catching a suntan earlier up in Maine, for heaven's sakes. Yes, I put it. Oh, man, how did I not get a update on that? I'm subscribed. So you, you put nine out. I'll, I'll, okay. Monday, when I should be working, I'll watch it. Crystal's here. Hey, uh, Crystal, I just put uh, your cushions in the Scotty, and they look great. They look, as they always do, as they always do. But... Uh, just wanted you to know, they do look real nice um, with the choices that she made. The, that that color of those cushions match. There's kind of like some veining in veining in the uh, uh, table, and it matches real nice. But I mean, you didn't choose the color, but you did a great job. Crisp edges. Yeah, it, it looks real nice. If I, if you were wondering, I didn't know if you were wondering. Uh, Rob, check out my photo now. Oh, wow. Look at that. You guys see that? I wish I could make that bigger, but I can't. Uh, posted the trailer. I'm planning on a small front booth, small kitchen with countertop for hot plate, small closet by the door for fridge, too. Too many ideas. Ah, you're on the right track. That's a good looking camper. Kind of a canned ham. Yeah. I like the yellow, too. I'm a yellow guy. I even like a pastel yellow, which is, you know, generally I don't, but I do there. That looks great. That's nice. Not on the camper. I put out an Eclipse video. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Yeah. I shouldn't have asked you that question because I watched that now that you reminded me. Because you were on the other side of Niagara from us. Niagara Falls went, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did see that. Uh, if you guys haven't, go over to Dawson's Tinker Shack on YouTube. Um, that was, uh, you know, because he's got the iconic Niagara Falls over there. Um, yeah, I did watch that. I did watch that. I was wondering and waiting on your review. Oh, no, no. You. My goodness, you know, you're number one. There's no question about that. But it's nice to hear it, isn't it? <laughs> That's true. She does a good job. Absolutely. Came out of the blue, I'll tell you what. Because as you guys know, I was I was paying the, the pro professionals and waiting almost longer than it took me to rebuild a camper. Sometimes it did, and I had to put a customer on. And uh, if you guys that don't know, Crystal, um, she was kind of looking for something to do. And I asked her about it because I had bought a, because I was getting frustrated. I bought a pretty nice sewing machine. and But then she showed an interest. Oddly, I don't even remember how it happened. But it did. And then she uh, had a friend help her and then they learned. And then, you know, within 30 days, she's putting out work. As good or better than the professionals, hey, bunny ears, professionals, and 
I'm like, you know, she obviously has a knack for this and doing professional work. And she's just up the hill, up the hill and uh, getting it done on my time frame. So, I mean, that was just, that just worked out great. And she does a heck of a job, heck of a job. Marsha will paint, but same design and probably stay with yellow. I did a bright yellow on uh, a little, uh, is a, it wasn't a Shasta compact, but it looked like one. And it, it was a nice color on that. I liked it a lot. It's always nice to hear. It is, isn't it? You got to, you know, that's something that um, I have learned to be better about. You know, just because you think it, doesn't mean you said it. Sometimes people like to hear that they did a good job. It doesn't even matter what it is. I mean, I do. I like a pat on the back. I'd rather have a pat on the back than money sometimes, depending on what it is. Really. You are too kind. And I love to learn new skills. Yeah. No. You, hey, I'm all about it. All about it. Oh, boy. So, um, Dog Patch must be having some, he probably, I don't know what he's doing over there. I hope he gets it. I, mean, if he, I think he had a party. I mean, if I'm to be honest about it, he had some kind of party going over there on that eclipse. Up there in Ohio. He's over there on the east side, northeast side too. Um, so I just wanted to hear about it. So uh, here's a, the, the Rob the Rebuilder faithful. You are the faithful because you're here. You're here. I have a question for you after I check these comments. I have so many sewing machines and don't sew. Going to attempt my own stuff soon. Need to learn to do the camp. Yeah, but are you going to use, now that, are you going to, yeah, Doss, are you going to use those like uh, from the 1890s? Are you going to use one of those? Because if you did, I don't know, man. There's, I think there's, uh, I think there's views in that. You combine camper cushions with your 1890 sewing machine. I think it's possible. I think it should be. I mean, people in the 1890s were sewing things, for heaven's sakes. I think that'd be pretty cool, Dawson. Huh. I would let you run on my camper and gladly give you a pat on the back. <laughs> ball, ball. You're too much. <laughs> Sometimes I need money. <laughs> I just told you 800 bucks in, <laughs> in lumber. I need a pat on the back, an $800 pat on the back. Paula. <laughs> I actually started a tinker with making clothes and made Russ a quilt. Oh, okay. All right. Probably a 1951 Singer 201. I'm assuming you do not expect me to know what that means. Other than 1951, um, that'd be cool. Would you email me that? I do. I would like to see it. But like that thing, that, uh, thing that sewing machine that's in your profile, um, I mean, that's number one, that's a work of art. But number two... I assume that's a 1800s. Super cool. Super cool. Uh, I got my welting from um, uh, Vintage Trailer Supply. They just got some in stock. So now is the time to order. As soon as this is over, you wait your turn. But yeah, I just got some in. I got some white uh, regular like they put in the Scotties. And then I got the kind of a the, the cove brown that i use um that i use when i do the uh amber shellac oh oh wow crystal sent me a picture of the quilt she made for us that's pretty that's too good for him he's so lucky he's got a good life good for him well, Paul, the camper would have to be trailered to you. Hey, listen, I get them trailered to me all the time. North Carolina, once or twice, South Carolina, 
uh, Maryland. Well, she didn't bring it to me from Maryland, uh, Kathy, but she took it to me there. Uh, I got, you know, a customer going to New Mexico, uh, several from Kansas, uh, Arkansas, Texas, a couple from Texas. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're, they're going all over. Um, oh, Crystal just shared a little heart wrenching story about the quilt. My gosh, I mean, goodness, calm down, Crystal. Um, yeah, they do. People bring them in. They trailer them in to me. Jace! Sorry I'm late. My phone died. Good to see you. you guys remember Jace from last week? I think I might call him Puppy Patch. <laughs> I don't know. He might get mad at that. Puppy Patch. Uh, remember him last week? He uh, took us through his camper. 13 years old. Built his own camper. You know... I'm impressed if you build your own camp. I'm super impressed if you weld your own frame. And he did. What? Are you, what are you, I mean, that's our next. Listen, boys, that's uh, that, that's our next generation. We need more of that in our next generation. Crystal, huh? it took me months to find the material to buy because it's so old, like your husband. Jeez. <laughs> He's not here. He won't watch this back, so I'll talk trash on the rest right now. Let me make sure he's not outside. <laughs> hey, so... Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Cherie De Leon! Dawson's Tinker Shack. I saw that machine. I already know that machine. Very desirable. I have a 5060 Nietzsche Supernova Automatic. It will sew heavy material. I will do my son's seats. Hey, Kindred Spirits. Meeting on Rob the Rebuilder's Lives. Yeah, Crystal, he, I, I'm telling you, that kid put a great camper together. No doubt. He ain't even home right now, so talk about, yeah! Yeah, Ross! <laughs> So what a, um, we talked about this a little bit last week. So the Rob the Rebuilder Faithful. I um, have been doing some videos that are, they're camper-ish related, but they're more world headquarters, Rob the Rebuilder related, uh, that kind of lets you kind of see more of me and more of uh, this this then camper sometimes do you think you would enjoy seeing that because i filmed about three episodes of that i mean i still have the camper stuff and i'm still at world headquarters and it's still me uh but um things that you would normally not see that i wouldn't think to i uh, still part of the day here but things that i um I wouldn't think to video because I'm like, this is nothing to do with uh, how many inches long the this or that is, or how do I cut this, or how do I use butyl tape for that? It's not that. It's still this. It's still me. It's still World Headquarters. But there's things that go on throughout my day and Curly's day that sometimes I, or not always, I don't video it. But I was watching some of the people that I watch in different genres. And I'm like, well, when I see them more personally doing things, it's a nice switch up. I want them to go back to what they do. So, you know, maybe you want me to go back and do, what am I? Let me put my hands down. And maybe you want me to go back and, you know, make sure that I'm still building campers. But maybe you would like a little diversion from that and say, what are you doing? What, what does that look like? Are you making decisions based on what? Explain it to us. Or what just happened? Did something weird just happen at World Headquarters? Can we see it? 
So that's, I started looking for things like that to try to be interesting. That's not exactly building a camper, but it's the world around building a camper. Is that something you think you might want to see? I hope so, because I filmed three episodes of it. So you're going to get three episodes of that anyway. But tell me now, so I don't film three more. Paul says, sure, I would enjoy watching that. All right, Paul. Bring them on. All right, Gary. All right, Gary. Marsha, I need to talk with Hatco and find out what replaces my brakes and drums. The original Hatco 440s. I can't remember the red parts. Of that number. Wow. Uh, you might have to. I don't know, man. I've got to put a new. I, me and Jim on that last camper before this camper, we put a new axle and brakes on and i've got to do that on ah oh, that brush is pulling up i'm like everybody be quiet turn the lights off um and uh i've got to do that on this comment and it's it's about 700 bucks so i mean obviously fixing the brakes would be a lot cheaper but i don't know if it's available but you're going to be about 700 bucks deep um to make that change Paul, Paul, take us on a camping trip with your camper. I sold my camper. But I have ideas that I'm going to build. And I might take um, I might take this Comet camping. Because I think I'm going to have some extra time. And Russ said the same thing. Russ said, you know, go camping. You never show people you camping. You show people you fake camping in my yard but he goes show people you camping and i go well if they want to see that okay i'll show you i'll show you I'll show you paul i was gonna say the same thing um i've really been kind of holding off until my wife gets here i, I mean i'll be honest with you um camping is cool especially with jim's group they're great people love them i really love jim and his wife they're they're great everybody treats me so well but, you know, camping by yourself, I'm not, um, I don't know, I, I, I like it, but then it's kind of, it's kind of difficult for me sometimes, you know, but uh, yeah, okay, I'll put that on the list of things to do because I, uh, Russ told me that a long time ago, and I think you're right. Cherie Delon, it sounds interesting, okay. Um, wait till you see the videos and then tell me. <laughs> De Leon. Marsh Kirk, I saw that. I'm wondering if easier and cheaper. See, this is why Russ is here, because I don't know what you're talking about now. Oh, uh, okay. It's it's not super easy, but it's not hard. Um, watch that video. Um, because I'll have Jim over here when I do my next one too. I know I could do it, I really do, but you know, if you've got a guru, why don't you use your guru, right? So I'm going to bribe Jim somehow to get him over here and help me with that other one. Jay, I'm welding dog patches camper frame. He likes me well more than his. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, do a good job on that. Teach him how it's done there, Jace. No, no what? I don't know what you're talking about. No. Did I do something bad? Huh. Paula Paul, Paul, what do you mean? Ah, uh, Dawson's Tinker Shack. Film what you film. The views will tell you really. I say, yeah, let's see you outside in the shop doing what it takes to make this channel work. Can't hurt. Yeah, you know, um, I think sometimes if you watch even any any YouTube or any show. I keep thinking I'm hearing Russ. Long enough, kind of you get into a rut and then you you know you're like it's easy not to watch. And I think that happens to us sometimes is that it's like, okay, he's working on another Scotty. I don't need to watch him build a drop down. So um, and this is really for you guys. Because you guys show up. 
So I'm like, how do I pay these guys back for showing up? Um, I could just keep, because really I'm trying to sell trailers and make you feel good about buying a trailer. Uh, but you guys aren't buying a trailer from me. So you're the real subscribers. You're the people that are here on the Saturdays when we do this. You watch the videos. You give me feedback. So I'm like, what would, what, if I was one of those subscribers that are here, what would I like? Would I like to see something different from Rob? I didn't know. I think so because of the other genres that I do watch. I would like to see a little bit of their personal life. Uh, I'm a, just a very private person to start with, but I don't mind sharing with the people that are here and the people that do and the people that care that I'm doing something. And I like that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have anything to do on a Saturday night. So here we are, right? So that makes me happy. Um, so uh, Dawson, let me get back to Dawson here real quick. Yeah, the views will tell you, but sometimes they don't. Sometimes I put the worst video out there. It's not worse. It's not terrible. But it's it's like this should not do anything, and it does a thousand, fifteen hundred in a week. And sometimes I put something that I'm like I put my heart and soul into, and I'm like I'm being funny. I'm doing I'm doing this, and I'm telling this two hundred. I'm like I don't know. I don't know. And that's why I'm asking you guys because I care about you guys. I care about everybody. I love everybody. Okay. I, I do. But I want you guys to be happy. And I want to make you guys happy. I really do. Because you're here. It would be super sweet to have a camping trip with the missus. Oh, I can't wait. I, I, I understand. When she gets here. I, I think it'll be interesting when you guys meet her. I almost uh, contemplated having her uh, hit the link and come on. You know. Shree, I understand. Waiting for your wife. Yeah. Yeah. It'll make things different. Paula said no to your saying you sold your can. Oh, yeah, yeah. The lady that bought it, though, was from Oregon. Oregon. I forgot when I was telling all those places that we've got campers going. Oregon. It was cheaper for her to come here and buy that little yellow camper from me and have it shipped to Oregon than it was to buy one in Oregon. Wait, who was who was here earlier? Where is she? Marsha. Do you find that to be the truth that, that campers are super expensive up there? Because she said it wasn't even close. Um, she bought that little camper, loves it, and it was cheaper to buy it, have it shipped, and not even close than to buying it in Oregon. Hopefully, Marsh is still on here and can tell us the truth. You sold your pretty yellow cam. Yeah, yeah, it's it's true, Paul to Paul. It's a little too small uh, for me, so I've got an idea of what I want to do, and I'm going to get that built. So I will camp. I think the people that follow you would enjoy to see more of your life and interests. Do you guys agree with Crystal on that? Uh, I don't mind. There's a, there's a lot of things that I do um, that are halfway camper related or semi camper related, maybe even not even camper related that me and Curly do on a regular basis. Do you want to see that? Maybe not all the time, but would it be a nice side interest for you? I just want to know. I want to know because I don't mind it. I don't mind doing that. Um. I just don't know what direction to, to start heading. It would be fun to have snippets of people camping. Okay. Okay, John. How about camping rendezvous with Rob? That'd be cool. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that, Paula. Can't wait to meet her. She seems precious. Other than the problem that she has loving me. I mean, you know, what's wrong with her that she finds me attractive but yeah she's great super great actually 
Me, yes. Too many yuppies here that grab them and pull behind the electric vehicles. <laughs> not behind the electric. You're not telling me that there are people that have a hitch on their electric vehicle, are you? I had to take my glasses off for that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I need to, like, make four or five and just put them on a big old truck and bring them out there. Oh, Marsha. I agree with Crystal. Okay, okay, Paul Paul. I will. Like I said, I made I made I think three of those. Um where they were kind of half that, and then uh we got those products that we had to kind of put the products in, but they were part of what I was doing on the front end. But we have to we have to get those done because sometimes they send us pretty cool products and I want you to know about them and I want them for free to be honest. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. I will I will make an effort during the comment. During building this comment, I will make that effort to do more personal things. And uh, if you have ideas other than I keep thinking Russ is showing up and I got to be careful. Uh but I'll um the things that you might think might be cool or just say, you know, just show more of just the normal part of world headquarters or what do you do on a normal Thursday? Nobody wants to see me at work. I mean, that's just got to be careful. He's still big. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Or when those start to play, if you give me some good feedback, I would appreciate that. Yes, yeah, sorry, that's what we call this the left coast. Yeah, wow, wow. Uh, okay, well, thanks for sharing that, Marcia. <laughs> I just, it's just hard for me to fathom. I mean, I know those electric vehicles have a lot of torque. So, I mean, I get that they can do it. I just had not dreamed that anybody would do that. I did not dream of that. Could do some pricing videos. I know they are all different, but you could ballpark cost of people thinking of doing this. Know what to say for I'm learning as I go. Canada is not cheap. I did a couple of those early on, and I thought about doing it again. It's um, it's a lot of work to do those, and I don't mind doing that. I just wasn't sure if people cared. So um, I will look into that, Dawson. I think that. I, I think that's a good idea, too. I have volunteered at a local state park for 10 plus years and seen the transition of campers, especially since COVID. Yeah, COVID, COVID was, a, was a transitional situation where um, a lot of families and a lot of people that wanted to get outside but were cooped up in the city and you can't do this, you can't do that. And yeah, put them, you know, they could go out to the campground and life's different. But if different people come in from the regular camper people, sometimes it changes things. Um, good or bad, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And it did change things. For sure, Rob's Reviews of Product seems like a great start. The things you like and don't like, pros and cons of one product or technique over another, that kind of thing. Uh, I was, and this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen. But in my brain today because i had too much time to think i thought what if i did reviews on other camper builders and i was like no Woo! that's a hot take right there that's a hot take because i know some people really think they're the best and i'm not i am not the best i do what i do and that's all that i do I never say i'm i never say i'm an expert i never even say i'm the best would not dream of saying that but there are people who do and i thought man what if i did a it was that mystery science space theater 3000 or whatever that is that would be so funny sometimes but then that hurts people's feelings and that's not what i'm about and that's not what this channel is about but i had that bad thought go through my brain and then i moved on then i moved on Probably shouldn't have shared that. Funny you see an electric pickup truck unhooking and pulling down to a car charge. 
<laughs> it's just, you know, I I hear you, Marsha. I think you're cut from the same cloth as I am, even though you're on the left coast. I'm originally from the north coast, and now I'm down here in the Midwest. You'll get yourself in trouble like that. <laughs> I know, I know, I got it. I, but you wanted me to share. You people wanted me to share. And sometimes you might get something like that. And then you're going to be like, oh, gosh, why did you do that? We can't watch your show anymore. Nope, we've got to unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. My late husband was an okay. Oh, nice. I understand. I'm fourth generation Oregon and try to stay true to those values. My daughter is obviously first generation. Well, I guess if you count her mom, she may be several generations. But from my family side, I moved here in 89. So, you know, I've lived here longer uh, than I lived in Ohio. Uh, John, uh, I would say all the viewers campers see where they camp. Yeah, I would love to have um, more people when they're camping and they have access to the um, internet to come on and then just take us around and tell us what they're doing. I'd like to do that every Saturday. Five thumbs up. Is that it? Well, there's not a lot of people on here tonight. Uh, I think it's just, it's too nice out. I think it's too nice all across the country. Either that or they're tired of listening to me. Yeah. But uh, yeah, thumbs up helps. I always help. Always help. Oh, we're starting to get to about that time where I've got to got to get cooking. And you guys gave me a lot to think about tonight. And I um, I really do want to do more of the fringe. And I hope that uh, people will like it uh, for the lives. I do would. I mean, if you're going camping somewhere and you're there on a Saturday, would you send me an email? Um, let me put it down here. This is my email. Two hours in the middle. If um, you're going to be out on a Saturday and you have internet and you want to show us your camping rig and where you're camping, love to see it. I think... I like it, and I think uh, I think everybody else does too. So we'd be happy to see that. So um, yeah, would you show us? And but you know, just uh, email me a couple of days ahead of time, and then I'll send you a private link. Jane Bray, I, I think you're new. Jane, watching from Alberta, Canada. Wow, we got a couple of Canadians here. Some Canucks just bought a Beachcomber B15. See, I don't know what that is. Each comer B15. It sounds like it's probably 15 feet long, which is a great length. I like beach combing. Um, I can listen and pull weeds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, podcasts and stuff. We're um, you know, I oh look at this. This kid right here, chilling on the roof of my camper. Who wishes they were 13 years old chilling on the roof of their camper? Heck yeah, man. We can do it. We'll be camping the next two Saturdays. Let me know, man. Send me a send me an email where you're gonna be and all that kind of stuff. We'll test the email or email. We'll test the internet. Um, so yeah, I, I want to do uh more of that now that we're there. And I know Jim is uh most definitely um what is going on here? Oh it's a Beachcomber 15. Crystal sent this to me. Is a trailer. It's a, a fiberglass. I like fiberglass. That's my first foray was a fiberglass trailer. So yeah, Jane, cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. Love living the dream. Take care, guys. I can see you next week. Yeah, yeah. Um Definitely, Dawson. Definitely. Or if you post something, I'll see you between now and then. 76. Yeah. So that's still vintage. 
I like those fiberglass trailers. I really do. I've got an opportunity. I need, I'm just so busy to go look at uh, fiberglass egg. Hopefully I'll get out there. I'll get out there. Uh, so, um, Paul, Paul, am I miss next Saturday? Because I'll be at Uke. Heck yeah. Nice. Uke fest. That's cool. I like the ukulele. Um, appreciate you guys stopping by. You know, I always do. I really, really do. Uh, hit the like button on your way out if you don't mind. Uh, so we've got things for you to do. Number one, if you're going to be camping, email me so that we can see what you're doing. Two, me, go camping. Three, me show you more of things that are normal around. Look at Curly. See, this is what's normal. You see, that's normal right there at World Headquarters. Curly's like, I'm out. Okay, I'm out. But sometimes I get him up and about. And I did film that in a video today. Uh, got him in the video. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I want to do that. I wanted to do that anyway. And, and I appreciate you guys giving me the permission. To do that, get you want to see it. So um, thanks again, and I'm going to get out of here.